Hi everybody and welcome again to IBIS Tech Reviews. I am Sebastian Fay and today we'll be looking at the Logitech Wireless Illuminated Keyboard K800. We'll also be comparing it to its predecessor, the Basic Illuminated Keyboard. So let's take a look at the overall packaging. It's a basic green package that's easily recognized as a Logitech product. You can see that it has a unifying receiver, that it has backlighting, and of course the standout features, automatic backlighting you can adjust, comfortable rounded durable keys, and fast easy charging through micro USB cable. On each side you have a security seal. On the back you have the picture of the keyboard and the main features of it which are type easily even in the dark typing perfection recharge it make your desk shine plug it forget it add to it powerful reliable connection on the bottom it says that you have three years limited hardware warranty on one side you have the specs the other side doesn't have any sort of information so let's open it now Remember to not cut in too deep when opening a product. It's a very nice black case like most of Logitech's keyboards. In the case you have the keyboard itself wrapped in a plastic bag. The unifying receiver. The manual which does not include any CDs. A USB cable. And of course the extender cable. Note that it is very easy to get things out of the box. So here we have the keyboard itself. The K800 compared to the illuminated keyboard has some similarities. They have both the same size and almost the same weight. It is nice considering the K800 has batteries and therefore should be heavier but is not. Now for the differences we can see the K800 has round edges whereas the illuminated keyboard has square edges. The keyboard is a full layout keyboard and has very slim keys just like on a laptop. The bottom keys, including the spacebar, is almost leveled with the other keys. On the illuminated keyboard, the bottom keys were a little bit lifted up. This keyboard feels very sturdy. On the illuminated keyboard, you have a shiny line going across on the bottom. Whereas on the K800, the shiny part goes underneath all of the keys and is not on the bottom or the top. The K800 has a shiny logo whereas the illuminated keyboard doesn't. On the illuminated keyboard the place where your wrist sits is a rubbery kind of material whereas the K800 is plastic. In my opinion it is better because it is easier to clean off. The K800 has incurved keys, whereas the illuminated keyboard does not. The K800's height is almost the same as the illuminated keyboard with its feet out. Without them, the illuminated keyboard can be more flat. But the K800 has a nice curve, which might be better for typing. On the bottom of the K800 you have rubber feet, which allow the keyboard to not move on your desk. The illuminated keyboard also has rubber pads, but they are smaller than the K800's. On the back of the keyboard, you can see that you have two feet that you can pull out to give more height to your keyboard. Here you can see the keyboard with feet out, and here you have the keyboard without the feet. If needed, the K800 can stand up. Overall, I would say that the design is a nice update on the K800. 
on the illuminated keyboard we had the caps lock, num lock and scroll lock showed on the right bottom of the keyboard. On the new K800 keyboard the caps lock sign is showed by a green light on the caps lock itself. Unfortunately the scroll lock and num lock does not have any physical sign. The only way to see if your scroll lock and num lock are on or off is to see the message on the screen which needs the Logitech software. The motion sensor is located at the bottom on the wrist pad. The light goes on instantly and then dims. To check your battery level use the function key and F7. Here will be the battery sign. Most of the top function keys are the same as on the Logitech illuminated keyboard. The function key F5 and F6 are for the backlight. You can shut it down, you can make it brighter and full bright. Keep in mind having it all the way up will use more battery power. There is also a light sensor mechanism located over here. Now let us take a look at it in action. This is in dark and if you put a strong light over the sensor it will turn off. The light sensor does work very well but if you manually change the light settings it will not go back in automatic mode. To put it back in automatic mode you have to turn the keyboard off and back on. It would have been nice if there was an automatic switch button added. On the K800 you have four levels of backlight. Here are the four levels of backlighting. It is recommended leaving the automatic backlighting. Compared to the illuminated keyboard, the K800 has a brighter backlight. The amount of light going through each keys is also bigger and wider and also each keys are equally lit which isn't fully the case with the illuminated keyboard some areas have darker spots typing on the K800 gives a less high pitch noise than the illuminated keyboard it also feels more tight on the K800 especially noticeable with the spacebar Just as in my previous video with the G700 mouse, the K800 setup is very easy. You only have to plug your unifying receiver and turn on the keyboard. And of course make sure to have the latest software from Logitech to be able to use all of its features. Note that the unifying receiver for the K800 has to have this logo on it. For example, the G700's unifying receiver will not work with the K800 keyboard because it does not have the unifying logo on it but has G series written on it for gaming products. Also note that the cable for recharging the K800 is only for recharging the keyboard and is not for data over cable unlike the G700 mouse. Now let us test if there is any lag having it wireless instead of wired. There is absolutely no lag. It seems that the wireless receiver is doing a great job. Which means that it could be used for gaming. 
here we can see the setpoint Logitech software and our keyboard K800 is here note that you can choose between keyboards here's my old illuminated keyboard and here we have the K800 it's very nice the fact that you can choose between your keyboards note that was the same unifying receiver from the K800 keyboard I also have connected the performance MX mouse which is shown in a separate tab the K800 has a lot of features hot key setting you have the F key setting here you have the battery level the keyboard inactive keys here we have the unifying tab and the keyboard illumination settings this keyboard is a very nice update to the illuminated keyboard very stylish robust and a nice quality as most Logitech products the keys have a good feel to them quieter than the illuminated keyboard especially with the spacebar it's wireless and there's no lag you can stand it up to make it compact the light and motion sensor are working nicely there are a lot of options in the setpoint software to use the keyboard to its full potential though it would have been nice to see a num lock and scroll lock physical indicators and a backlight switch for putting it back to auto mode and also having the USB cable being able to carry data like the G700 gaming mouse it's kind of a pain to having to use two unifying receivers one for G series product and the other for normal unifying products the setup is pretty straightforward once again so overall this is an epic product if you're looking for a professional and stylish keyboard but that is also nice for gaming then this is for you and definitely worth as a Christmas gift until next time take care